Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and in this video I'll be talking about temperature conversions that is Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. On the exam you may be asked to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit or from Fahrenheit to Celsius and there are a few things I want you to remember. So from Celsius to Fahrenheit you have to remember that we're going to add 40 to the Celsius that was given, multiply by 1.8 and subtract 40. When it comes to Fahrenheit to Celsius, we're going to also add 40, but this time instead of multiplying, we're going to divide by 1.8 and then subtract 40. So I want you to remember that there are two numbers, 40 and 1.8, and either multiplying or dividing. So I made a little table here so it's easier for you. Remember, we're always going to add 40. We're either going to multiply or divide by 1.8. And the last thing is to subtract 40 again. So you could just memorize one thing, CFM. When I say CFM, it's Celsius, Fahrenheit. We're going to multiply. From Fahrenheit to Celsius, we're going to divide. Just you remember that Celsius is always like the smaller number and the Fahrenheit is usually a bigger number. So when you're moving from the smaller number to a bigger number, multiplication, because when you multiply, you are going to end up with a bigger number. And when we're moving from the bigger number, which is the Fahrenheit, to the smaller number, which is the Celsius, we're going to divide. So I just need you to get that down. And then I promise you every question that is based on Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius, you're always going to get it right. For the first example, it says convert 20 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. And we remember from the previous slides, it says from Celsius to Fahrenheit, CFM, we're moving to the bigger number, so we're going to multiply. So let's start by writing CFM here. So we know we're going to multiply, and we always remember the two numbers. It's 40 and 1.8, and we know we always do 40 again. So remember in the beginning, we add 40. In this case, we're going to multiply by the 1.8 and then we're going to subtract 40 in the end. 20 plus 40 which is equal to 60. Then we're multiplying the 60 by 1.8. So 60 times 1.8, 108, then 108 minus 40 is equal to 68. 20 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit is equal to 68. For example, 2, it says convert 37 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So remember, Celsius is a smaller one, Fahrenheit is always the bigger one. We're moving into the bigger number, so we're going to multiply. Or we can also do C, F, M. So we just know we're multiplying. Remember, it's going to be plus 40, multiply by 1.8, and then subtract 40. So to start, it's going to be 37 plus 40, which is equal to 77. 77 multiplied by 1.8 is equal to 138.6. Then 138.6 minus 40 is equal to 
Therefore, 37 degrees is equal to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Example 3, it says convert 95 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we're moving from the bigger number to the smaller number, or we're simply going to write F, C, D. We have to remember that, as usual, we're going to add 40. We're going to divide. This time, we're dividing by 1.8, and we're subtracting 40. So it's going to be 95 plus 40. which is equal to 135, then 135 divided by 1.8, that's equal to 75, then 75 minus 40 is equal to 35. That means that 95 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 35 degrees Celsius. For question four, we have 86 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. Fahrenheit is the bigger one. We're moving to Celsius, which is smaller, so we're going to divide. You can also just remember F, C, D. As usual, we're going to add 40, we're going to divide by 1.8 and subtract 40. That's going to be 86 plus 40, which is 126, then 126 divided by 1.8. And that is 70, and then 70 minus 40 is equal to 30. So that means 86 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius is 30 degrees Celsius. I have a few examples for you to try at home and from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, you're going to convert 40 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius. And from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you're going to convert 98 degrees Fahrenheit and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to check out my other videos on conversions, decimals, fractions, and ratio and proportions.